Hey everybody, I'm Pastor David from Walden Community Church. In preparation for our uh, patriotic celebration this Sunday, I came across a story that happened a couple of years ago in Riverside, California. It seems there was an NCAA uh, championship. Uh, it was a running competition where 123 runners out of 128 missed a turn on the track in the streets. And there was only one guy, there was one competitor, Mike Del Cavo, and he was the only one that saw the right way to go on this 10,000 meter course. And he started waving all the other runners to follow him. And he was only able to convince four other runners to go with him. And when they asked him later, what the other runners were thinking uh, during his mid-race decision not to follow the crowd, Dolcavo said that they all thought I was crazy for going the right way. This weekend is 4th of July. I know we're getting ready uh, for the parade. I know it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be patriotism, there's pride. Uh, everybody loves the red, white, and blue. We all love seeing the flags out along our streets. But at the same time, I can't help but also notice that we are also slowly becoming more and more divided as a nation. And so that got me thinking about Thanksgiving. Now, why Thanksgiving? Why Thanksgiving at 4th of July? Well, what's the Thanksgiving rule that you have at your house? We don't talk about politics or religion, right? We don't talk about politics and religion. Why not? Well, because no matter where you stand, we're all kind of passionate about what we believe. Sometimes those passions, they get ahead of ourselves, right? Tempers flare, arguments, people throw food. But you know what I say? I say this holiday season, let's toss that rule out the window. All right, let's toss that rule out the window. In fact, the opposite, the opposite. Let's say we get into more discussions about politics and religion. And I'll tell you why. If we can't talk about politics or religion within our social circles and families or our own networks, then where else are we going to be able to talk about these things? We need to be able to talk about these things in order to understand one another. That is authenticity. That is real. I believe we can and still need to talk. We need to talk. In fact, I firmly believe we need to talk. Uh, because if we don't, we are only going to grow further and further apart than we are now. And we need to stop talking to the communities and to the groups that actually agree with us. And we need to have more conversations with all of the people who don't. Because if you stay on the surface with your relationships, just to keep the peace and you choose not to have those tough conversations with people, what are you losing out on in the long run? Well, you're probably losing out on having meaningful relationships with other people. This Sunday, we're going to talk about how to have those conversations, how to do them better, and how to grow closer and more united, not just as a country, but also as Christians. The Sunday is our patriotic celebration. We have one service, one service at 1030 AM. We're going to have a lot of patriotic music, and we hope to see you there. Have a great and safe 4th of